<laughs> I knew you I heard something. I, didn't, I looked back and I didn't see, see anything. God almighty. So I started doing what I was doing, you know, I'm writing on the clipboard and I heard it again, I thought. <laughs> yeah, I had a good time when I went And I heard. Where's that at? I, I turned back like this and looked. Just sitting on the seat right back. behind me. I mean, he's like this. I'm looking started drinking quail right <laughs> Yeah, he does it again anyway. And in front of mine bought me a damn purple thunderbird. Nah, I jumped yeah. up and hit my head on the roof trying I to get out. Warren, Newcastle. Me and him scared him. Well, yeah, he scared me, I scared him. Car. He come across my shoulder. <laughs> Don't remember my time. He come across my shoulder <laughs> pissing. I think I was pissing trying to get out the door. <laughs> I just got a buzz for my birthday tonight. It's a party. Oh, Elvis Bar, he's dead now. You need to go. Milk. He come from what? West Virginia. I'm gonna go to a party tonight. Where? Them boys was Where? Bad when Lexington. He lived up Where in Lexington? Down in Dan and Lisa's neighborhood. Dollars and all that kind of shit. Are they, they going? Out right around no, I doubt they're going. <laughs> I mean, I'll stop by there and ask them if they want to share. I'll say they got two kegs. They don't be coming down there. They used to spotlight. He'll walk down there and say, he'll walk down there. The one ran out in front of him, damn if he hit him with the truck. That's my boy Reeside's house. Well, it's laying there down on the ground. No. So they get him, the pick him up, and throw him in the back of the truck, and it's got a little camera shield on, you know, and they're just going to take him up to what he called the camp, little town or whatever, and show all the boys up there that are there. So, so, they, so they, 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 they come wheeling up, right? and they all drunk her and dog shit, and <laughs> went in there in this place and told them, said, come out here and look at this, uh, are you video we get. Said they went back there and raised up that camper and I group up standing behind the truck by the end, you know, and he raised up that thing, said that deer was just standing there looking at him. The other old guy, I had like a bowie knife on his side. He says, all right. He says, when I tell you, I'm going to jump in there and you slam that door behind me. He grabbed that bowie knife out and he says, he's going to jump in there and cut his throat. Alva said, that's the damnedest racket you ever heard in your life. He said, that camper shell was a jumping and bouncing and dents going in the side of it. And him hollering and the deer hollering and that thing's biting him and clawing him. And he said, open the door, open the door. And he got out and then the deer jumped out. But that thing liked to kill him. Man, Andy stopped one night on Link Road and got a wild turkey. Somebody just hit it. That was a good time to start recording what you think. And it's damn, yeah. it's damn thing was... It had been stunned. He should have started you know. on his wild turkey. And uh, <laughs> we was going to take it to his girlfriend's brother. He had some, some tame turkeys. Right here. No, so no. he says, uh, you know, stop, let's get this thing. He said, I'm going to hold it. You, you drive. It wasn't about a half mile from his house. He grabs this thing. He's got it by both feet. He's holding both feet like this, and he's got it, you know, in his arms like this. I open the truck door. He gets in there and sets down. He's got this turkey, you know, holding it like this. And we start down the road. We got about, I don't know, I think I got to about fourth gear. That damn thing come to, realize what was going on. Mm -mm. That damn turkey liked to whip both.